how do you have the confidence to write down your story? Because if we're going based on upside down, like there's, yes, obviously you crafted something around the hook, but it wasn't nearly as personal and it wasn't nearly as ripped from your reality. Right. As yeah. this is what falling in love feels like. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Cause like, Upside down, I was definitely like, this is cool, but I'm not passionate about this. Like, this doesn't feel like me. Because it wasn't, it technically wasn't. It you. wasn't, yeah, totally not. And we just kind of threw it together just uh, with, with the songwriting skills. But it wasn't like, yo, I'm going to sit down and make the most meaningful song. And then Upside Down came. That was not what happened at all. So, uh, yeah, with This Is What Falling In Love Feels Like, that was something that I personally loved. I thought, man, this is like music that I would want to listen to. I think this is really cool. Let me just test it out. I, I was super skeptical. I thought it was going to flop because usually that sort of stuff didn't work out for me. But then once it started to move, it was like, oh, people like the music that I like and I can release stuff that I'm passionate about and people will resonate. And that was super new to me. People hear themselves in the story and then they get to understand you a little bit more Yeah, in a way that they couldn't from, you know, upside down. So do you write this wall falling in love after falling in love? What stage of love are you writing the song? It's interesting. A lot of um, my music, I, I just draw from so many different experiences. I may not be like working through it at that moment. And this specific song, uh, this was just kind of me reminiscing on the first time I had fell in love. Um, the song itself is just all over the place. And I, I tried to just draw whatever emotions that I felt during that time of falling in love. I was, I was 14. Uh, it was a hu really pivotal moment in my life from 14 to 16. I was in this uh, relationship, super young. I should have never done it. It was so stupid because I ended up super heartbroken after that anyways. Um, but yeah, that kind of brings me to now where um, I'm drawing a lot of inspiration from that, that first relationship. Um, and that's kind of what's leading me into the music I'm working on right now. So you're pulling from stories that happened when you were 14. Yes. Yeah. You're 21. Yes. Yep. It's a long time ago for sure. But it was definitely the most impactful like situation in my life. Like I was destroyed, but also like I grew a lot from it. I feel like a lot of people's first experience with love and heartbreak kind of takes a toll on them for oh. sure. Yeah, 